Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 73 of the Decades Challenge. Um, so, looks like Rose. I was gonna call her Rose. Evelyn is just putting away all the laundry there. For some reason, she put it on the ground. I don't know why. Oh, it wasn't dry, and I got her to take it down anyway. Um, you can hang that back up. So, she is currently pregnant with baby number four, which I'm expecting to be born in this part, which is exciting. Um, also in the last part, Lorenzo did get a part-time job. It's only on the weekends as a lawnmower, but it's still something. He's still gonna be making a little extra money, which is really good. Um, so it's Monday morning, the kids are both off to school. Um, and what are you gonna be doing? She's gonna go cry in bed. Well, you know what, she obviously needs it. She's still feeling sad because her mother, Rose, died in the last part, which is really upsetting. Um, I kind of saw it coming. I knew it was going to happen, but she's now gone. I'm going to get both the kids to study hard, I think, at school today. And then Stanley is still asleep, but he can get up, I think. And I'm not sure if he's able to get down the stairs, but I'm going to get him to try and see if that works. Okay, so you. Um, she had a good cry. I think she's feeling better now. I'm going to get her to clean up the house a little bit. I have been thinking um, of maybe letting her get her job back at some point as well. Because um, the Great Depression, I think they said it ended in 1939 or something like that. I can't quite remember, but I do know that the war started, I believe, in 1939 uh, as well. So that will be happening at some point. Lorenzo will have to go off to war, um, possibly even, hold on, spray for bugs, uh, possibly even Norman as well because he will be old enough. He ages up to a teen in five days, so we have that going on as well at some point. Um, this all looks pretty good. They didn't have to do a whole lot with this. Oh no, our bills are due. Our bills are due again. It's Monday and the bills are due. Let's see how much they are. $1,000.48. Okay. Or, or 1,048. Um, okay. That's gonna be tricky. We only have 315. Oh yeah, we have some, hold on now. We have a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory that we can sell. We've got this bass, we've got this. I mean, that's actually supposed to go in the fridge, so I should be putting this food, yeah, this fish in here. Um, this is a tilapia. We can definitely eat that too if I put that in the fridge. Um, a guppy, it's kinda gross. Okay, they're not going in the fridge. Why aren't they going in the fridge? They're just going on this, We've got dead fish all over the place. Um, okay. I thought we could put those in the fridge. Maybe you can only eat some kinds of fish. Also, we got this toy in the mailbox as well. I'll just put it on the ground. The kids can play with it. We have a whole bunch of apples. Um, these veggie burgers that are spoiled. Put those in the garbage. Um, the apples are supposed to go in here. There we go. Um, this tetra. Can't put that in the fridge. Maybe we have too much fish in here. Like, that's a possibility, right? Uh, the mushrooms are supposed to go in, the grapes, the peppers. Um, we got this upgrade part, which we can sell. We got another upgrade part. I do think we'll be able to suck, scramble. That's 950 bucks, so that's actually pretty good. We can sell the voodoo doll. Uh, and then this is a, a chiclet, I think they call it. Let's just sell all of these. Just get rid of all of them. I also want to see what holidays are coming up as well because I do like to play um, with holidays as often as I can in the Decades Challenge just to see how they're celebrated differently. Um, this voodoo doll, honestly, I, I kind of want to hold on to it. I don't want to sell it because it could come in handy at some point. And I like the idea of this thing being passed on as well. Like, as creepy as it is, I just love the idea of it being passed on from generation to generation. So I don't really want to get rid of it yet. I think we'll be able to come up with enough money to pay our bills without selling the voodoo doll. So let's get uh, Lorenzo to go over here and do some more fishing. And who's calling? Uh, other kids threatened Joyce and took her lunch money. Find the kid or I will, definitely. I think Lorenzo would be pretty worked up about that. Um, so Evelyn's gonna take out the trash here. What did I say I was gonna do? I've totally forgotten now. It was something with Lorenzo, and now I can't remember. Uh, we don't wanna get the mail because we already know we cannot afford the bills. Um, do we have something to clean out in here? No, it looks good. The house is mostly clean. Um, Stanley can come downstairs and play with this toy here. Or not. Looks like Evelyn's going to get him. Okay. <laughs> Nobody does what you tell them to do in this game. Oh. Why did this happen? I don't know where this puddle came from. 
I don't think he did it. Oh, okay. I don't know. He can just play with that, I guess. I don't really know what else we can do. Um, oh, we caught a sturgeon. Okay, good. Um, so what I do... Oh, yeah. I wanted to look and see what holidays are coming up. So we have uh, Harvest Fest on Wednesday. So we will definitely celebrate that. I think that would be kind of fun for them to do. Um, so we'll probably decorate for that in the next part, maybe. Um, poor Evelyn. I don't know what she can do. Grab some leftovers, I guess. Um, the end of her pregnancy is a little rough all the time. She's like, has to go to the bathroom. She's always hungry. It's just kind of how it always is for Evelyn. She doesn't have the best of, a, of times when she's pregnant. Uh, Lorenzo caught an electronic upgrade part. Okay. See, I think that he'll be able to catch enough stuff. Then we can sell it and be able to afford our bills. I feel quite confident about that. Um, so she's eating some food. Really not much else we can do. We could probably wash some laundry in the wash tub. Stanley's doing just fine. Everybody is doing pretty good. Um, their moods are sad because, of course, Rose did die. But their needs are pretty good, and I'm not too worried about them. Um, how are you doing? Let's see here. Oh, we caught a tuna. That's worth a bit of money. 62 bucks. We got this upgrade part. See, we're getting there. We're totally going to be able to afford that. The sturgeon is 138. See, and the better he gets, the more we can sort of afford, it seems. Uh, oh, and there's these toys as well. I guess we'll put those in the box. And she has some upgrade parts we can sell. She has uh, some samples from work, which we don't really need. Where are you going? He wants to watch. Okay, um... I mean, he can play outside. It's kind of nice out. It's pretty warm. It is fall, but that's all right. Um, I don't want these sippy cups. I just don't. <laughs> like, why are they here in my life? Um, let's go open, and we'll take out a toy and put it on the ground. There you go. Oh, see, this, the toy is stuck to his hand still. I'm so irritated that this hasn't been fixed. Or maybe it has, and I just didn't download the patch, or... No, that can't be it. I don't know what it is, but... They definitely need to fix the toddlers. I don't know what's going on. It's been over a week. Okay, you're done washing the laundry. You've clearly had enough. You can tell she's getting a little frustrated. Um, she can definitely give up on that. I don't really care what she does. Like, go on the swings for all I care. I don't know. We're just basically waiting for this baby to come. Uh, Norman returned to school with a project. Um, I think it said something about... I thought it said he was like on the honor roll or something. Maybe not. No, it's just a school project thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, I thought it said something different. Oh, it's freezing up on me. I regret trying to click on that. There we go. Okay, so the kids are home. Uh, let's get Joyce to go swing as well. And Norman can just come play with one of the toys. I doubt he's going to do his school project. Um, I mean, in the baby challenge, I always get them to. But in this one, I kind of don't care. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's get Evelyn to go make some food. We will serve. Um, what is cheaper? Nothing. Oh, yeah, I think we have to go in to cook, maybe? And then you can see what's cheaper, given what you have. Fruit salad. That's not really that great of a deal, to be honest. Um, I always try to... I find that I try to cook stuff that they would have actually had back then, but it's kind of hard. We can make camper stew. Let's do that. That looks to be cheaper. Uh, and then Joyce, you can not make a mess, thank you very much. Go do your homework, and then Norman can do his homework too. See, if I, if I sold the kids' school projects, I'd be able to afford the bills, but <laughs> I don't know if that's morally wrong. I think that it is. <laughs> there we go. Look at you and your fish. Let's take a picture here. He looks pretty proud of his little, um, what is that thing? A guppy? No, not a guppy. It's like a Siamese fighting fish. I think they do call it a guppy in the game, though. Oh, a beta. Okay. There's, like, so much variety. That's funny. Okay, well, he's doing pretty good. I'm going to let him do that. He's feeling confident as well, so he is enjoying fishing. Um, he should probably come home and fix this, though, because that's a problem. He's pretty much out all day, though. Like, I do like the idea of Lorenzo not seeing his kids at this time because it just shows that he's so busy and trying to focus on um, making money for his family that... They don't see a lot of him because he's gone all day long. So, yeah, during the week he'll be fishing, and then on the weekends he'll be doing his landscaping. Um, let's get the kids to have some food. Evelyn, too. Grab some. Everybody eat. The toddlers have got to keep an eye on them because for some reason they don't like to eat anymore. Yep, see, there we go. 
The glitch with the toddlers is just unreasonable. Let's uh, reset. See, I reset uh, just the one kid and they all got reset. That's not what I wanted. Let's see, is he good? He should be good now that he doesn't have the toy attached to his hand. Um, maybe if I just stopped getting the kids to play with toys, that would be fixed, but it seems a little unfair. Clean this up. Um, let's get her to go to the washroom, and then maybe I'll place down the school projects, and if they have time, they can quickly do them. Uh, like this one, we can just put right here. That, I think he should be able to do it. Start working carefully, and then I'll put Joyce's upstairs, maybe. Um, just in the hallway? I don't know. Here? <laughs> I have no idea. Start working carefully. And then you can actually go to the washroom. Oh, he's not potty trained. Okay, yes, I will do that. For some reason, I thought that he was. Potty train Stanley, please. Uh, Lorenzo, he's still fishing. He's perfectly fine. Like, his needs aren't too bad. Cut another tuna. Uh, I'm going to sell what he's catching because I think that by the time he gets home, he'll be able to pay the bills. There we go, 150 bucks just from the tuna alone. That's pretty good. See, they've actually managed to get through this depression pretty well. Um, I know it's super easy to make money in the game though. Like, you can make money doing just about anything. Okay, can you pay the bills yet? Yes, you can. Okay, great, come home and do that. Um, Lorenzo caught a grape. <laughs> okay, that's good. And then it looks like Evelyn is just gonna go to bed. She's pretty tired. Stanley, he's potty trained. So, oh, oh, she can't, oh, she can't get to it. Can you get to it here? There we go. Okay. I just want the kids to work on their projects, honestly, and then we will put Stanley to bed. Uh, Lorenzo, you are going to go fix that toilet, first of all. And the babysitter that babysat Joyce, um, or Norman, I guess, the one time, still comes over to our house all the time. I would love for him to just get over it. Grab the serving. Okay, come on, put Stanley to bed. This is taking way too long. And then she can go to the washroom and then go to bed. Norman, um, he's doing okay. Their needs aren't too bad. Evelyn, you can go to sleep. And Lorenzo, go to the washroom. And we'll save that, of course, because that does help. Okay, so it's 10 p.m. I'll get Norman to finish or not finish but stop working on his school project go to sleep and Joyce you can do the same and how's he doing he's going to bed okay good enough we survived another day um I don't know I think the next baby is coming tomorrow which should be pretty interesting are you going to sleep yes he is which should be interesting I don't have a name for it yet though what are we at we had Norman Joyce and Stanley okay oh yes I think I wrote a whole bunch of names down, so I should definitely check and see what I've got because you need to go. You need to go. Oh, thank you. He left. Thank God. He stood at the door for probably five or six hours. <laughs> that is commitment, and we never answered it, so he can just leave. We don't want him. Okay, so I guess it's Tuesday, so Lorenzo still has not had his first day of work yet. Um, he's feeling angry. That's okay. That is okay. He's going to go work on his garden. Uh, we will... I think we're going to harvest all. Yeah, we'll harvest everything because then we could just keep it, put it in the fridge. It's kind of the whole point of it. Um, Norman is doing pretty good. Everyone's doing okay. Stanley's happy. Um, Evelyn's going to get up pretty soon though, I think. Grab some leftovers. Oh. Okay, I guess he's done in the garden. He just came inside right away. Uh, let's go weed this, and you can also probably water everything, or not. This needs to be watered. There you go. There you go. Basically just, like, filling up his time with random things to do. What is this candy thing? Feeling happy from being cheerful. Okay, good. Oh, no, the bear phase. Uh, God help us. Okay, no, no, no. I hate the bear phase. If I could take one thing out of The Sims, it'd probably be the bear phase. Okay, let's just be normal. Um, he needs to go play with some toys. Go, um, there's one outside. Yeah, go play with this. Play. She's playing with toys so she's happy or she's like listening to winter holiday music. Okay, it's a little early, but that's alright. Um, 
she kind of jumped the gun. Dance. You know, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's a little Christmassy, but that's okay. Um, I think we're actually going to have Christmas in the next part, which will be fun. Yeah, not the next oh. part. Next week. <laughs> next part is Harvest Fest, I believe. That's going to be happening tomorrow. We might get a little bit of that in this part, because we're only halfway through. Uh, Lorenzo, you can go grab some food. And the kids should be going to school now. Stop playing with your toy. Stop dancing. There we go. We're just shutting it down all together. Uh, if, if Stanley could come downstairs, that'd be helpful, but I don't know if he can do it. I think not. It's weird how some kids can age up and they immediately know how to get down the stairs and some of them just don't. Okay, Evelyn, you can go take a bath, I guess. I don't really know what else to do. Um, maybe once she has the baby, we could get her back into the nurse career, or the medical career, because she seemed to enjoy that. Here, you can go potty, and then I'll get some food out for him. Uh, we've got, I think we have quite a few leftovers. Yeah, we've got this still. See, if we sold some of these things, like the basil alone is worth like $200, but I don't know, it feels cheaty to do that. I, I think it's obvious, though, that we're never going to leave this house. Like, we are not going to be moving out of this house. We could probably never afford it. And it's really cute. Um, now that we've got the renovations done, I don't think we'll ever have to leave. Oh, you don't have to wear that. You're unemployed, remember? You can just not wear that. Don't worry. Okay, so hang some clothes on the clothesline. Replace this water. Um, yeah, speaking of water, we're just waiting for her labor to come on because... Yeah, I do know what the next baby is. Um, I don't remember if I've given it away in this part or not, but I was trying to make it a surprise, so I don't know. I may have said it already. <laughs> I can't quite remember. Uh, you can go do some laundry. Wash it in the wash tub. And then Lorenzo, um, he should probably... Why is the tub full like that and nobody's in it? Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know, that was a weird little glitch there. So she's going to do some more laundry. Did you eat your food? Yes, he did. Okay, good. You can go um, stack, or no, yeah, build tower. Um, so in two days, Stanley will age up, and then in four days, Norman will age up. So that's good. Norman's going to be a teen, which will be really interesting, although I'm quite confident he will be headed off to war. I don't see any other option. Like, he's going to be a teen, so it's going to happen. Let's go get these two to socialize a bit. We could um, make funny faces. Um, become best friends? That's cute. Discuss world peace. I like the idea of them becoming best friends because they've been through a lot. Also, yikes. That baby bump is huge. And let's get them to, um, is that like a hug? Hug lovingly. I think that'd be kind of nice. They, um, they've been through a lot and somehow they have become even stronger. And I wasn't even sure if their marriage would last, honestly, I did think about the possibility of them not being together because, you know, it's, um, it's, it's difficult, I think, to be in the situation that they're in. So, yeah, I briefly wondered if they would end up divorcing, but I think things look pretty good for them. Let's actually get her to go to the washroom. And then Lorenzo, he's feeling pretty good. He can go fishing again. <laughs> I know that's all he does, and I don't mean for them, that to be his new career, but he actually could make a career out of it. Because um, we do have the fisherman one now. Let's go clean up these plates. Also, I wanted the kids to make friends at school today, but I forgot. <laughs> so, they're doing it now, and it looks like he's doing good. I'm going to get him to queue that up again. I don't want him to stop. He's he's doing rather well. you got to go fix that sink. Poor Evelyn. There's always something for her to do. Like, she doesn't really get any time off. I discovered a map. Okay, so I think those are worth like 80 bucks, so that's good to know. Uh, bathroom upstairs looks clean. Everything looks good there. She doesn't have a ton to do. Let's mop up this puddle. Runs just caught a socialite. I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out. Um... I think we, oh, there's this stupid sippy cup I don't want and put it in the trash. There we go. Um, what can she do now? She wants to have a little bit of fun. Let's go read something for a little bit. The kids are going to be home in like half an hour. Lorenzo is just fishing away. He's doing really good. Um, 
why, why are you angry? You're always angry. I don't want him to play with the toys because um, it just ends up glitching out so much. Build tower. Okay, so Norman is home from school. He can go take a bath. Uh, Joyce, she can do the same. I think it said that he got an A in school. Oh, he, no, he's a B student. That's pretty good, though, considering how much time they spend doing other things. Like, they don't do their homework that often. And Lorenzo caught a tulip. That's cute. I think he'll probably give it to Evelyn. Um, sell this treasure map and the tuna and the socialite, which is only 80 bucks, but still pretty good. And all this produce I do want to put in our fridge. I know we'll never be able to eat it all, but... I said that from the beginning that I wasn't going to sell um, the stuff we got from the garden, so I don't want to start doing it now. There's that annoying guy now. I'm tempted to just kill him. Like, just kill him off, and then we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's cook some food here. Uh, tuna casserole. Ooh, we could we could do that. It's only 13 bucks to make that. Oh, pff, nope. It's 50 bucks for a party size. Never mind. Um, we could do a roast tofu chicken. $63. No, I'm going to do the tuna casserole. I don't care. We 50 bucks really isn't that bad. We can definitely afford it. Okay, Norman. Um, I don't know. Uh, work on your project for a bit, I guess. And then I was going to call her Joyce, Josie, but it's not Josie. It's, um, it's Joyce. For some reason, that name isn't sticking in my head that well. My god, she is so, so pregnant. She's probably ready for this to be over. I'm not sure if this will be her last baby or not. Um, I could definitely see that being the case, though. We don't have a ton of room for more kids. You guys can come eat this. Delicious tuna casserole. Oops. Oh, whenever you move it like that by accident, everybody's um, grab a serving gets cancelled, so that's frustrating. There we go. Okay, so everyone can come and eat that. Uh, when they're done, they can both do their homework. She's so impressed with her own cooking. Like, she just thinks it's so great. Is he actually eating, though? Yes, he is. Good. See, and it's because... If you stay away from the toys you get in the toy box, your toddler will be fine. Um, which I think is really silly. They should be able to do that, but... For whatever reason, it just doesn't work. Uh, let's clean this up. And probably just leave out the, oh, what is that? A discus. I didn't know that, if that's how you say it. I'd, I've never heard of that fish before. Um, Evelyn is really tired, so I'm going to get her to go to sleep just in case the baby comes tonight. I want her to have energy to actually be able to give birth because so far that's not going to happen. And then I think we'll get Norman to go play on the swings and Joyce too. Oh, he caught another voodoo doll? That means we can sell one of them. Shut up, quit calling. <laughs> he is so annoying. If he's not coming over, he's just calling. It's one or the other. Um, let's get Lorenzo to go to the washroom and then get some of this casserole. Why did he make a mess? I don't like that very much. Please put yourself to bed. <laughs> just go to bed. I'm, I'm tired of you. Uh, so yeah, they're going to go play on the swings for a little bit before they go to bed. I think Evelyn is pretty much asleep for the night. I don't see, I don't see her getting up at any point. It's so cute that they just play together. I don't know why, but I find it really adorable. There we go. And their fun is going up um, kind of slowly, but still, it's not too bad. Uh, let's put this in the fridge, put this in the garbage. Uh, and then I'll get him to clean that up and head to bed. Evelyn probably has to go pee. Yeah, she does. They always have music going. I don't know why. They're obsessed with it. Uh, Norman, you can go to sleep. And then Joyce, um, she can go to the washroom and go to sleep too. There we go. You know, it's not so bad controlling five sims. Also, I do want to get them a dog as well. But I was hoping to be able to just, like, come across a dog and adopt it and not have to actually spend 200 bucks to adopt one. Because back then, I mean, when you only have, like, so much money, we have 454 right now. I can't see them spending almost half of it on a dog. So I do like the idea of them finding a stray dog better, but we'll probably have to go to Brindleton Bay in order for that to happen. Um, but I still think we could do it. We could get Lorenzo to take the kids to Brindleton Bay for a walk, stumble across a dog. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just basically thinking out loud, but I think that that would be kind of cool if we could do that. Uh, gone into labor. Okay, let's get her to, um, 
have baby at hospital and we will send her by herself. Actually, oh, you know what? Can I cancel it? I don't want to mess with things too much, but it would be kind of cool if we could like, actually no. I was gonna say it would probably take her to the hospital she worked at, but I don't think that's true. I really don't. Send it to daycare. Oh, she's gonna pee herself? I guess now's the time to do it. <laughs> While you're giving birth, they're pretty much ready for it. Um, okay, so the last name is Moretti, and I there's a chance we were to use this name. Hold that I'm thinking of. Hold on a sec. Let me just go through my book here and find the other names. I was thinking of using the name Robert, but now that I think about it, I think that name has already been used in another generation, but I really cannot remember. That's a little bit sad. Um, okay, so on my list here, yeah, I just have... Hmm. I don't really like any of the names that I wrote down. I should have come up with some names that I actually liked. That would have been a way better idea. Um, I think I'm gonna go with... Oh, it's hard, I don't know. Um, you know, I should have asked you guys for suggestions, but let's just randomize a little bit, see if we can come up with something 1930s-like. Oh, not really. Steven, I thought that would have been Tommy. I mean, Thomas, but then, you know, we already had a Thomas. You know what? I'm going for Robert. I'm convinced that we've already used his name, but that's okay. We're running out of options here, so we'll just go with that. There we go. So we got baby Robert. We now have three boys and one girl. Oh, she has to go to the bathroom so bad. Let's, let's go do that. And turn on these lights. Okay, so it's 5.45. Um, everyone can pretty much go back to sleep, except for Evelyn. I mean, she's going to be up taking care of this baby. We already know that. No, don't worry about don't worry about Stanley. He's perfectly fine. Oh, and today is Thanksgiving. So what I think I'll do is leave this part right here, and we will play through Thanksgiving in the next part. Um, was just checking to see if we're going to do Norman's birthday, but I think that'll probably be in the part after that. So... Yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching.